Good morning guys. This is Mahesh. I have 10 plus years of experience in testing. First my career is started with manual testing. After that I move on to QTP. Next I am in Selenium. Presently I am working on the Selenium. Today we are going to discuss First of all my question is what is Selenium? What is the Selenium? Yes, Selenium is a okay, automation tool. Any more? Selenium is testing tool. Okay. So as per my concern, Selenium is it is an open source automation functional testing tool. automation functional testing tool so first of all open source open source means suppose google gmail yahoo mail all these are open source applications open source is nothing but a free of cost free of cost if net is available anyone can use it that is called as a open source second one what is an automation what is an automation Generally in testing there are two types of testings are there manual testing and automation testing any organization they can use only these two types of testings are there manual testing means without using tool we can validate an application automation means we are using some tool in manual testing as a test engineer we are derived test cases we are preparing test cases to validate an application what about in automation we are converting these test cases into test scripts by using some tool that is called as our automation automation means the process of converting manual test cases into test scripts by using any tool not only the selenium we go for QTP, Lisa, Tosca, multiple tools are there. Whatever the tool is there, by using this tool, we are converting test cases into test scripts. That is called as an automation. Now my question, already manual testing is there. Why we are going for the automation? Is there any advantage is there? Why we are going for the automation? Is there any advantage is there? Yes. In automation, there are some advantages are there. What are the advantages in automation? What are the advantages are there? Okay. Main thing is first one, we can save the time. We can save the time. Why? Because in case of the manual testing, suppose there are 500 test cases are there. 500 test cases are there. I want to execute all these 500 test cases on application every day on and average i can execute 40 to 50 per day so how many days it will take to execute all 500 test cases it will take maximum 9 to 10 days time maybe it will take 10 days time to execute all the test cases not the preparation for the execution it will take totally 10 days now i am converted all these 500 test cases into test scripts my question is is it possible to convert all the 500 test cases into test scripts? No. Maybe possible. Sometimes it is not possible to convert all the test cases. Only some of the test cases, maybe 80 percent or 90 percent or 70 percent. Some of the test cases only possible to convert the test script. Why? Because some static actions are there. Those test cases is not possible to convert the test cases. Maybe in this situation, in this 500, I am converted 400 test script. Remaining 100 are test cases only. So manually to execute this, it will take two days. Then my question is, if manual test cases, it will take 10 days. 100 means two days. How much time it will take to execute all these 400 test scripts? That is my question. Observe, 500 test cases, it will take 10 days time. 
Whereas I am converted 400 scripts, again 100 remaining in manual, it will take 2 days time. In my hand I have 8 days time is there. To execute these test cases, how many days it will take time? Either 1 day, 2 days, 3 days or 4 days. How many days we can save this time? That is my question. That is we can save the time. So later on we will discuss how much time it will take to execute all these test scripts. That is the first point we can see the time of execution time. Second one, we can reduce cost to the company. We can reduce cost to the company. Why? Because in manual testing, maybe there are six or seven or eight test engineers are required. Whereas in automation, we can reduce the manpower. Why? Because we are using some tools. So automatically reduce the manpower means we can reduce cost to the company also. Third, once we generate the scripts, we can repeatedly we can use. So, scripts are repeatable. Scripts are repeatable. And one more, accuracy in results. And finally, tool will provide the test report. Tool will provide test report. So, these are all the common advantages for automation, not the selenium. You can clearly observe. I am explaining whatever the advantages in automation. So, selenium later we will discuss. There are all the common advantages. We can save the time, we can reduce the cost to company, scripts are repeatable, accuracy in results, tool will provide the test report. And last one is functional testing tool functional testing tool. Why it is a functional tool? Why it is a functional tool? So, open source is free of cost. Automation means the process of converting fine. Why I am written functional? Simply I can tell that open source automation testing tool. Why I can clearly mention this functional testing tool? Now, automation sir, there are four categories are there. First category, functional tools. Second category, performance tools. Third category, defect tracking tools. Fourth one, security tools. These are for the test engineers. And there are some other tools are there. Build management tools, Ant and Maven, different, different tools are there that is related to development. In case of the testing, we have these four types of tools are there. Functional tools, performance tools, defect tracking tools, security tools. First one, functional tools. By using these functional tools, we are able to verify the functional behavior of an application. In manual testing, there is one concept is there, system testing. In system testing, as a test engineer, we are verifying both functionalities and non-functionalities. Functionalities and non-functionalities. In functionalities again there are some different testings are there. Object properties coverage, error handling coverage, input domain, database like that. So, to conduct these functionalities we go for these functional tools. In non-functionality also different different are there. GUI, usability, performance, security all these comes under non-functionality. So, what are the tools comes under these functional tools? There are different different tools are there. QTP, Selenium, Lisa, Tosca, Coded UI, multiple tools are there. So, all these tools are comes under functional. That is why our Selenium is becomes our functional testing tool. Second one, performance tools. By using these tools, in non-functionality testing, there is one testing is there, performance testing. How to conduct this performance testing? By using these tools, performance tools. So, what are the tools are there in performance? Load runner, J meter, these two are the performance tools. Third one, defect tracking tools. So, as a test engineer, main our role is to identify the defects. Once we identify the effects, how to intimate it to the developers? By using these tools. Whatever the tools are there. 
Bugzilla, Zira, Mantis, Q. All that comes under your defect tracking tools. Fourth category, security tools. By using these tools, we can perform security testing. There is one tool is there, AppScan. These are all the four types of automation testing tools. But in all these tools, functional tools are very, very important. Why? Because every application functionalities are mandatory and important. Due to that reason, every organization they can maintain separate functional testing team. So that's why Selenium is becomes to our functional testing tool. So Selenium means it is an open source automation functional testing tool. Next. So in these functional tools, there are different, different tools are there. QTP, Selenium, Lisa, Tosca, CodeDB, Cucumber, multiple are there. In all these, my question is, why Selenium? Why we go for the Selenium? Why Selenium? Simple answer, why Selenium means, nowadays in Selenium there are so many opportunities are there. That we are going for the Selenium. Next, why companies are migrating from QTP to Selenium? Previously, the main tool is QTP. QTP is very most popular tool. Before QTP, first the tool is Windrunner. First the tool is Windrunner. After that, they can add some advantage, they can change it as a QTP tool. Now this tool is also changes. The name is UFT. Latest version of QTP is UFT. Unified Functional Testing Tool. So now my question, why the companies are migrating from QTP to Selenium? Why Selenium? What are the advantages are there? The main advantage of Selenium is, already we discussed, it is mainly open source, free of cost. What about QTP? Licensed version means it is a commercial and cost. Who introduced QTP? QTP. Initially, it is introduced by Mercury. Initially, it is introduced by Mercury. Now, this company is handled by HP company. If you want to buy the license, they are given by the HP company. Single system seed license is minimum 8 to 10 lakhs cost is there. What about Selenium? Selenium is a open source, free of cost. If net is available, you can download and you can use it. No cost for the tool. Second. We are converting test cases into test script. Means we have to write some programs. We have to use some programming knowledge or scripting language. Which language it supports? In QTP, we have to write the programs by using VB script. We go for the VB. What about Selenium? Selenium supports? Is it supports only Java? No. Selenium supports multiple languages. It supports Java. C sharp, Ruby, Python, Perlscape, PHP, HTML. Multiple languages it supports. What about QTP? QTP supports only the VB script language. Next, what about the operating system? What about the operating system? QTP is compatible with only Windows. Suppose in my laptop, I have Mac operating system. It is not possible to install the QTP. Why? Because QTP is compatible with Windows operating system. What about Selenium? Selenium supports Windows, Linux, Mac. The operating system it supports. Suppose generally we are opening some web application. We are using some browsers. IE, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, Safari, multiple are there. In all these browsers, QTP supports three browsers. IE, Firefox, Chrome. What about Selenium? Yes, Selenium also supports all these three browsers. And what? Two more browsers excite supports Opera and Safari. Selenium supports along with these three separate supports. 
generally as a test engineer we are tested some application there are three types of applications are there desktop applications or windows based applications web applications and in our mobiles some applications are there desktop application or web application or mobile application as a tester we are testing only these three types okay what is the difference between desktop web mobile means already we know about all these by using qtp what kind of application we are able to automate what kind of application we are able to so by using qtp we are able to automate all the applications either it is a desktop or it is a web or it is a mobile all the three types it is possible now what about the selenium by using selenium we are able to automate only web apps and mobile apps yes desktop applications not possible by using the selenium that is only one drawback of the selenium remaining all are the maximum advantages are there you can observe selenium free of cost qtp licensed version and qtp supports only qtp script language what about the selenium multiple languages are there multiple operating system supports multiple browsers it supports so only one drawback of selenium is does not support desktop applications that is only one drawback so later on in selenium there are two versions are there next i will explain what are the versions are there selenium 1 and 2 is there last recently three also they launches but beta version they launched in one or two version selenium 2 is there okay in selenium 2 there is one open source tool is there there is one open source is there the tool is developed by using java language the tool is sequly did the tool yes sequly okay if i can download sequly files and we can configure sequly into the selenium means i install this into my selenium then it is possible to handle this desktop elements flex elements flash element so while automating the web applications may be in between there are some desktop elements are there or some flash elements are there flex elements are there how to handle that yes by using sequly so by using sequly i can handle the desktop elements flex elements flash elements and web elements also possible so that is selenium these are all the advantages and one more is when compared with qtp it is more flexible and extendable more flexible and extendable it is some less flexibility and extendability what is flexibility and extendability flexibility means you can observe selenium is flexible with multiple languages multiple operating systems multiple browsers and what about selenium qtp is flexible with only one language one operating system and limited browsers so selenium is more flexible what about extendable we are using 80% any company they can use selenium with java java is an extendable language initially they are given core java after that advanced java j2e jtme so java is an extendable language vb script is not the extendable language initially in .NET, there is a vb dot net asp c sharp dot net is there but nowadays only c sharp dot net asp dot net is there so when compare with qtp it is more flexible and extendable 